And then when you turned around, you were able to witness the killing of Hugh Grover? Yes. Will you please tell the court, did Ray Masters strike that fatal blow? No. No, I wouldn't, Ray. Where was Ray? He was holding me. He was trying to keep me from getting away. He, he wasn't anywhere near you, Grover. I, in fact, he, he shouted a warning to him. But uh, it was too late. And then you and the others ran. Yeah. Yeah, we ran. Thank you. Thank you very much. No further questions. Mr. Tompkins, does your testimony have anything to do with the crime for which Ray Masters is on trial here today? I, I don't know. All I do know is that he did not kill you, Grover. Well, then, your testimony has nothing whatever to do with this case? Objection. The witness is incompetent to determine what's pertinent in this case. Overruled. Does it have anything to do with this case? No. Thank you. But it does, Mr. Nevins. You're out of order, counsel. I came to you with information supporting my client's innocence, and you refused to act on it. Didn't you hear me, Mrs. Lockwood? The information was bits and pieces of hearsay. Mr. Nevins, You please. ignored what I had to say. You let an innocent man go to jail. I want order in this courtroom. Don't tell me or this jury that the first case is entitled with this one. I'd like to see you two in my chambers right now. Court is recessed for the day. In all my years on the bench, I have never seen such a display of disrespect. You are making a mockery of this system while a young man's life hangs in the balance. Now, I fully understand what you're trying to convey here, Mrs. Lockman, but I cannot and will not tolerate shouting and screaming in front of that jury. Your Honor, one of the major advantages of the prosecutor's case has been Ray Masters' first crime. A convicted murderer killing again. He's dragged the character of the defendant through the gutter while he's been holding up the character of the victim as some kind of saint. Now, at last, I have the opportunity to show that my client is a good, decent person, wrongfully convicted, wrongfully thrown into some kind of garbage dump. Our defense is self-defense. And now, at last, maybe somebody will believe what he's been saying about Clarence Blake all along. <laughs>